Hi friends, in this video, I'll be sharing with you one of the secrets which has helped me to score one of the highest marks in the UPSC prelims examination. You can see here, in the year 2016, I scored 144.66 marks in the prelims examination and again, the very next year, in the year 2017, I scored 138.66 marks in the UPSC prelims examination. Both these years, my marks were more than 30 marks than the prelims cutoff. Let me tell you frankly that in UPSC prelims examination, you cannot succeed just by hard work, just by knowledge. You need to know some of the advanced option elimination techniques also. And I was very fortunate to discover these techniques in the very beginning of my preparation and I was able to apply them and in all of my six attempts, I cracked the UPSC prelims exam with cutoff more than 30 marks, 30 marks than the cutoff. My average score in the UPSC prelims exam has been around 125 marks. And today in this video, I am going to share one of those option elimination technique, which is an advanced one. And I can guarantee you, you might not have seen this technique anywhere till now. So if you like this technique, okay, please hit the like button, please share with your friend. And please let me know that if you want more such techniques or not, because I have more than 10, 15 such techniques, which I'll be sharing. If you want that video, please write in the comment box. So let us start with the video. So you can see here, this is a question of the UPSC previous year. You can read in the rural road construction, the use of which of the following is preferred to ensure environmental sustainability or to reduce carbon footprint or to reduce carbon footprint. So if you see the option, okay, we will see that many of these things we don't know. If you read the options, first statement says that copper slag. Second statement says coal mix asphalt technology. Third statement says that geotextile. Fourth statement says that hot mix asphalt technology. And the fifth statement says that Portland cement. Okay. So like a common UPSC aspirant might not know many of these terms. A common UPSC aspirant might not know many of these terms. But let me now share a unique trick. Using this unique trick without knowing this, you will be able to answer that. And that technique is called look for the opposite. Look for the opposite. So if you look carefully, if you look carefully, you will see statement 2 and statement 4 are opposite of each other. Statement 2 says cold mix asphalt technology and statement 4 says hot mix asphalt technology. So obviously 2 and 4 cannot be true together because they are opposite of each other. So the impact cannot be the same. Okay, so we can say safely that any option which has 2 and 4 together can be eliminated. Still we do not know which one is the correct one, but we know that 2 and 4 cannot be together. So we can easily eliminate the option which has 2 and 4 together. So we can eliminate B. We can eliminate B. So we are left with A, C and D. Now carefully look up what other options are. The first option says copper slag. Okay, in our school days, we must have come across slag, the word slag. Slag is what? Slag is the waste product of the smelting process. Okay, in, in our uh, like science books and in science lectures in the school days, we must have heard about. So we know that carbon footprint, reduce carbon footprint. Okay, so when we say that reduce carbon footprint, so that is the best way to reduce carbon footprint is what? The best way to reduce carbon footprint is what? To use, to use waste product, to recycle something. That will reduce the carbon footprint. This is a common sense. This is a logic. Okay. Whenever someone says that to reduce carbon footprint, this means when we are able to use anything which is waste, this obviously will reduce the carbon footprint because we are going for recycling. Okay. Reuse and recycling. So one has to be in the answer. So you can see here, you can see here that, okay, either the answer can be one and five or the answer can be one, two and three. Or the answer can be 1, 2 and 3. Here also, again, you apply this technique, look for the opposite. 
generally i have seen the trend in the upsc examination that whenever there are two statements which are opposite of each other which are opposite of each other at least one will be in the answer at least one will be the answer so we can easily say that either two or either four has to be in the answer so the answer is safely 1 2 and 3 the answer is safely 1 2 and 3 if you really like this if you really like the arguments if you really like the trick if you really like the strategy which i have shared with you please hit the like button please hit the like button i will again repeat you see here i am the rule says that look for the opposite look for the opposite so there are two statements which are opposite of each other and the second part of the rule says that at least one of this opposite must be in the answer at least one of this opposite must be in the answer so either two or either four has to be in the answer so answer has to be either uh, either a a b c okay answer will never be d and out of that we have already eliminated this so we are left with only option a so if you really like this video please share this video please like this video please subscribe to my channel and please let me know that if you want such kind of strategies in the future also i'll be coming out with regular videos on option elimination technique because my friend because my friend i strongly believe i strongly believe that if you are able to learn these techniques and apply these techniques my friend you can also score like me one of the highest marks ever scored by any upsc aspirant in the history of the upsc examination thank you my friends bye bye